Hey, what's up guys? Kyle here, and um, today I really didn't know what to record or film. I didn't really feel like editing all that much, because um, I got a video planned, but I woke up early and everything to actually make the video and like edit it and get it finished so you guys could watch it today, but like, I just really wasn't feeling editing. So instead, I was playing Cyberpunk 2077, which I felt like talking about instead. So uh, if you ever heard, Cyberpunk 2077 is kind of like the most hyped game of all time, from what I can tell. And it's pretty fun. I mean, I like it. I like it a whole lot. I didn't really get into the hype. I just saw that it released and I was like, you know what? I'm going to pre-order it. Or, sorry. I saw that it was about to release a couple days in like a couple days. So I pre-ordered it and then day after I played it and um yeah it was fun I I like it it is so buggy and it's so broken um I actually I think I might have a couple clips I hope I saved them but this is also just an excuse to test out a new feature that I want to try where I record with my phone and then upload the video to docs and then download it from or upload it to my drive and then download it from my drive and try to edit it on my pc because my phone doesn't like trying to transfer files to my computer, so I've given up on that idea. Um, so if I want to make videos from my phone, like that I record with my phone, I need to and want to edit them on my computer. From now on, it seems like that's going to be my only option. So here's hoping that that works out. I don't know why, but my shoulder just decided it was going to start hurting. So that's why I changed positions of how I'm holding the camera, which may or may not look better or worse. Um... But anyways, guys, uh, Cyberpunk 2077, it's a buggy mess. The story is enjoyable. Freak, I almost dropped, I almost dropped my phone. Um, it's a buggy mess. I really like the story so far. Um, I actually, at first I didn't like the combat, but after playing with it, I do kind of like it. I don't, I've never liked tiered systems like where you just need to keep getting more powerful more powerful weapons i think that each gun and like item should have a set level of damage that it does and it does that consistently i mean maybe like people with higher tier armor or whatever they can block bullets but i really like gta 5 system of armor where if you shoot them in the body it'll absorb hits but like if they're not wearing a helmet and you shoot them in the face they're just gonna die no matter what i love that system also, there's a certain handgun by a character that you become very intimate with. Okay, that sounds weird when I put it that way. Uh, you don't actually, not voluntarily anyway, that you play as for a short amount of time. I really like that pistol because it always just instantly murders anything you shoot it with. That's how I wish all of the guns felt like, or at least I wish I had a gun like that um, normally. Um... Anyways, it's one of those games that I sit down and I play for hours and I don't want to stop playing it. It's a game that I only stop playing for a short amount of time to reset the save file because I've broken something because the game is just really unstable right now because it's just released. And uh, from what I can see, CD Projekt Red's track history, track record, what the freak am I talking about? is not very good on new releases like apparently the witcher 3 was also insanely buggy on release but i mean everybody loves that game now so I'm, i have high hopes for cyberpunk in the future i waited a couple days before getting into it i lowered my settings i'm running everything on ultra except for ray tracing i have ray tracing completely disabled even though i'm rocking a 2080 because it still runs like absolute doo fart with ray tracing enabled so disabled all that i also don't have motion blur or any of that dumb crap enabled as well because in my opinion it just makes it look bad the frame rates are they're forgivable i get normally probably around 60 fps in the game sometimes it drops to 30 but that's the lowest i've seen it in really dense areas um lag is not really noticeable half the time it, most of the time it's completely fine um if you're running it out of setting that your computer can handle and it also looks amazing like, even though I'm not using ray tracing at all, the game's default beauty is just incredible already. So, really, if even if you're not rocking the highest settings, the game is still just visually mesmerizing to look at. So, it really doesn't lose any points for me there. 
the gameplay itself, as I said, like the combat's fun if you get used to it and you understand the systems. If you are constantly swapping out your weapons for better stuff that you find on the ground, it works great. Um, there are also, there's a certain weapon that I picked up off of a, like a boss uh, that I kept and it works great. And then I defeated the same boss for a second time at a later time and I got the same gun, but better. That was just recently. Also, I have this weird clip to show you. Those of you who watch my videos with your parents in the room, you might want to skip ahead for a little bit. But um, I also, if you don't want the game spoiled for you, you might want to skip forward as well. I don't think it really spoils anything um, except for this one very specific part of the game that you can, I think, completely bypass. Um, I, I had an interesting encounter with a boss. I, you know, I'll just play the clip. It, it'll explain itself. Get out of sight. <laughs> this is justice right oh. here. Let's, uh, let's get out of here, V. Oh my gosh. Yeah. That, that's it. That was the whole thing. I took a certain object and beat a certain type of criminal with it. And full on murdered them and broke the game. <laughs> so, yeah, I'd say that, that those are the kind of moments I, I live for in Cyberpunk 2077. It's a great game if that's what you're, you're going into. If you play the game anything like me, you have a lot of moments like that. Because that weapon that you saw me using has become a a weapon that I use so frequently because it does so much damage and it's also not lethal so if I don't want to kill anyone I don't have to and I can't with it so I just end up beating the crap out of people with this um sword and it it rocks I gotta say it rocks you I didn't really mean to go into the mission that I did that unlocks that certain particular weapon but afterwards I was kind of like Ooh, item! And, <laughs> and you know, it just, it just goes on from there. Also, I, I, I don't know if I can find a clip of it, but that particular weapon hums if you hold it in your hands and you're not using it. As long as you've got it equipped, it'll just hum. And as I said, it does a crap ton of damage. So anything and everything that you hit with it will die. Um, so... Yeah, it stays consistently in my second slot. Normally I run my melee weapons in my third slot, but it's better than a shotgun. So what am I supposed to do? Anyways, guys, with all that being said, I think I've talked enough about long pink items for the day. Um, I'll see you guys tomorrow whenever hopefully I'm feeling like making a better video than this. Hopefully I'll go in and finish the video I was editing earlier today and have something a bit better for you tomorrow. Uh, with all that being said, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Thank you so much for watching. And also, thank you for the help that I asked in the last video. I hit it this morning and I was like, let's go! I woke up to that. And uh, let me tell you, that made my day so much better. Um, I've just had a great day knowing that I finally hit 69 subscribers. And um, yeah, it was short-lived because I instantly went up to 70 subscribers. But I am not complaining at all, okay? That's definitely not something I'm going to complain about. I'm shooting for 71, okay? So, yeah. Anyways, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.